Hey guys, Steve here. So back with another video, and so today's video, uh, we're going to talk about a tool that could be the ultimate all-in-one tool for iOS for your iPhone. So I have gone over the web and I found one tool, and this is the ultimate all-in-one tool for iPhone, iPad, and an iPod Touch. And so let's get started. So the first one is um, I want to introduce you to a tool called 3U Tool. This is the tool that could flash, jailbreak, could activate, and the all the all overall information about your iPhone, iPad, or your iPod Touch. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the website. You can go to uh, www. 3u.com and this is the few tools the simplest flash and jailbreak tool, tool for iOS and you're wondering um, you're asking this only supports 4.0 iOS 4.0 to 9.3 flash and iOS 4.0 to 9.0.2 jailbreak and tethered now I explain why iOS 9.1 haven't um, supported yet is um, iOS 9.1 only supports 64 bit device, uh, so um, maybe we wait until 9.1 support for both to 32 and 64 bit, and then do tools will support iOS 9.1 jailbreak. But this is the tools, and as you can see, support iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, uh, support from the iPhone 3G, the iPhone 3G, the iPhone second generation until the latest iPhone 6s Plus, support from the iPod Touch 1st to the 6th generation, from the iPad 1 to the iPad Pro. So it doesn't say iPad Pro, but it is support iPad Pro. So you are uh, not worried about that. So this for two ways. Uh, this is the jailbreak tool, um, backing up SHSH blobs for downgrading, and this is the um, official iOS firmware version download and this is really fast. So let's go ahead and download it. And since I've already downloaded and installed, I'm going to up open up 3U tool right here. Okay, so um, this is the main of 3U tool. You can see I haven't connected my device uh, yet, so let me go ahead and do that just for a second. Okay, so this is um, the main window of uh, do your tools uh, as you can see I have the iPad 2 uh, this is the this is the model name and this is the name of your iPad now you may you may see that uh, my name the iPad and the uh, model iPad is the same because my name is the iPad 2 okay so let's get back to the main one so the first one you can see is the picture of your iPad as you can see and we have the name the iPad. We have iPad 2, 64 gigabyte, iPad 2 name. You can reboot or you shut down your iPad um, really quickly throughout this buttons. Um, so the first one is to look at the iPad 2, 64 gigabyte capacity, iOS 9.2.1. Of course, my iOS version of iPad 2 is iOS 9.2.1, black color. And it's going to charge you 21%. Now, this of course is charging because you're connecting to the iPad, so it must be charging. So, we have some information. Uh, first one is jailbreak, it's no, because iOS 9.2.1 haven't got the jailbreak um, utilities yet. Uh, of course, we have activation, product type iPad 2, comma 2. You can use this for uh, kind of stuff like the um, search for it like you can use this to download the firmware like the iPad 2 camera 2 uh, firmware for example and um, you know what you you know what from you downloading so this is the model number of course this is useless uh, serial number for um, app for verifying the Apple products uh, I may the UDID um, the Apple ID lock as lock you can query the uh, app ID lock by click on this 
and um, you see the i iCloud.com activation lock and um, we have production date production date is week 40 2011 which means that I bought this iPad back in 2011 in um, October 2011 and warranty date you can query that as well this is check coverage that apple.com to check your coverage you can enter your serial number to um, Check your expiring date, your support coverage, or something like that. Uh, Cell region is Hong Kong. Cell region is the, um, the place with um, sales, which means that uh, this thing is Hong Kong. The baseband version, the battery life count. This is, um, this is quite useful though. Uh, this is the cycle battery cycle count. 1360 time which means that I have recharged this iPad 1360 times they click on more to more for mission which is design capacity is to find the design capacity is the main capacity of your iPad this is 65 million bows the actual capacity which is the capacity right now is 4907 million bows uh, battery efficiency 74 percent the map I don't know so like that you we have refresh uh, you can refresh it if you have any uh, troubles or outdated I think on more okay this is more and um, what about it like uh, charging yes like uh, the um, I may CPU architecture number is ECC. You can open it in Notepad as well, and of course you can save as. So that is points. So cancel. This is the system space, which is the um, uh, capacity for the system, your app, your built-in app, built-in photos, built-in system, and this data space. It is your. This is your. A remaining space for containing your data, your apps, your photos, your videos for um, something like that. And so the this is the device. Click on flash jailbreak. Okay, so this is quite interesting. You can see this here, iOS 9.2.2 beta 3, which means that you can you can actually download the official beta firmware from Apple right from to your tools without any um, Apple developer account you can download it you can import one if you want okay that's easy flash uh, so the iPad 2 it's a device connecting status is normal mode we have normal mode DFU mode and recovery mode uh, the DFU mode is for recovering for jailbreaking and recovery mode is when uh, your device is in problems it will jump to the recovery mode and you can actually use the your tools to kick your iPad's ass out of the recovery mode to get back to normal modes so this is the easy flash and this is pro flash this, this one you can actually choose your custom firmware to flash and activate so you can select the firmware right you can select the IPSW like you can check 9.0.2 or something like that and you can flash you can query SHSH blobs you can activate now and this is the blank screen where where the process is going to happen um, but just wait for a moment while we take a look at this we have don't erase users data while flashing. We have don't upgrade baseband, jailbreak your device, and activate your device. Now, jailbreak um, is it will depending on how supported it is. If you flash this thing to up to iOS 9.2.1, it will not it will not jailbreak because of the um, uh, this thing didn't support iOS 9.2.1 jailbreak just yet. Um, we have activated as yet. If you 
getting troubles activating you can check to your tools to to activate so this is the blank screen this is what everything from process from flash from activate from jailbreak is going to happen so let me get a sample for this thing like i'm with flash now and this is will appear little here and this is the process you can see please connect usb make sure you're in dfu mode i'm not going to do it right now because i'm not going to show you we have key device in normal mode you can know this warning reminder turn off find my iphone right you can stop process you see three sounds and this is failed to flash and we have a little circle here on the uh on the um first of the each line we have actually me fail this thing this thing's not warning though it's like it's warning um, also, it's for information and warning, and this is uh, it's of course it is success or information. And of course, you can automatic activation. If your device is not activated, you can connect to this thing to the to your tools, and it will automatically activate the device. Um, jailbreak. Of course, I like I said before, this only support iOS point iOS 4 up to way to iOS 9.0.2 jailbreak. So you can see we have iOS 4 to iOS 5, iOS 5.1.1, iOS 6.x and 7.x, 8.0 to 8.4, 9.0 to 9.0.2. And we have a one called install absence step. This is used for installing um, application outside, you know, that. I actually show you how to um, how you uh, install iPad into your iDevice um, with iPhone box, and this is another way for you to install Absence. You um, of course you need CD. Uh, right, so of course, like before, you can just click, and um, the all whole process is here, right? Of course, by installing Absence, you do not must be jailbreaking, jailbreaking. So that's what's advanced. Now this is all about SHSH blobs and 3G, 3GS. This is for older device. This is for older device like for the 3GS. This device use some special firmware, special baseband. So the first one is SHSH blobs. These things are going to help you downgrade your device in the future. Even though Apple stopped signing this um, firmware, you can still able to downgrade using the SHSH blobs. So, we have deactivated. This is kind of useless because deactivate is going to deactivate the device um, on the hello screen and it will be like unusable until you activate them. Uh, 3G, 3GS, upgrade base band, downgrade base band, uh, backup SHSH block. This is really useful, right? You can backup your uh, SHSH blobs and like that. It upload SHSH, download SHSH, and the remaining here are all need DFU mode. This thing also device DFU mode. The last one of the whole is firmware. This is where you download the firmware. Now, unfortunately, you if you plan to download the firmware here in order to uh, create a custom firmware or flash and that, you I would not recommend you download from here. Um, the main reason is because the SHA one is going to be different <clears throat> because uh, in this older firmware like to the iPad, the iPad 2 and I iPad 2.2 you can see the jailbreak and the flash okay um, if you download the firmware that's the both jailbreak and flash are deactivated it's not on um, you can trust on it. You can 
create custom firmware on it but with those firmware has this little jailbreak on here <coughs> this is probably um, going to be not perfect for custom firmware going to be different SHA1 or different um, hashes Remember like that FC Twisted TV going to explain you about that and I will download okay a bunch going to here and I have to admit that the download speed of this thing is really fast really speedy this thing up to a megabyte per second I mean I downloaded seven phone wheels and I noticed that this thing only downloads 25 minutes on the 9.0 pin 2 <coughs> right here and um, it was true so get back to here we have flash or flash 1 jailbreak flash or jailbreak and of course you can download the um, <coughs> the beta free of iOS 9.2 download them you can uh, cut and flash them and enjoy your beta firmware okay so that's the end of free tools and and you can see this is the really convenient tool, all-in-one tool for everything to do for your eye, your eye device. Now I just want to point out something. <clears throat> um, I the three tools here is made in China. Now if you have any more questions, uh, you just go ahead and just go to Facebook and say to your tools and. You can uh, communicate with them. <clears throat> I want also want to point out that um, the uh, device you're using here um, might be brick. If you have any more questions, if you do something wrong, and of course you can use your tools to to kick out of the recovery mode, or you can launch to pawn DFU mode. You can reboot, you can shut down, and you can eject. Um, no. um, and uh, you can zoom your iPad and you have close iTunes here. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoy my videos a lot. And uh, I was had been waiting so long for doing this video. And uh, thank you for this video. Thank, like, subscribe, and comment for more videos and suggest for more future videos. So, goodbye.